Award-winning playwright Media George joins us now along with actors Nicola Kawana and Te Kohe Tuhaka to tell us all about their production of The Vultures, which has been described as a Māori tragedy comedy. Welcome mm. to the cafe, guys. Yes, welcome. Welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Media, what on earth is a, is a, is a tragedy comedy? Tell me all about it. Well, sometimes it's funny, and then if you're watching people who want to kill each other, that's extra funny. <laughs> so that's kind of where, kind of where we're pitching. It's a family that is um, that have regathered and they're coming to blows, and it's about what becomes of their empire. So that's the starting point for the vultures. Oh, nice! And what sort of hot topics do you hit on? Environment. Environment. Mm, yes. Water. Yes. Sisters, brother and sisters, nieces and nephews. Yeah, all of it. Bit of politics. Oh. Yeah. A little bit of politics. A little bit of politics. Well See, timed. But the, the, the environment doesn't seem particularly funny. How do you make that work? It doesn't seem funny. It's not funny. It's not funny what's going on with the environment. So when you see two characters who kind of... Uh, um, it's, it's not naturalism. So, so when you see them sending up the environment and laughing about polluting the environment and laughing about polluting the waterways and figuring out ways to hide how you can actually pollute the land and get away with it, it is a little bit funny. <laughs> OK, so, so, so TK, we're talking about some serious issues here mixed in with a bit of comedy. Yeah. Would that be the best way to describe it? Uh, I wouldn't say mixed in with a bit of comedy. I think the, the performance style is what brings the comedy. So we're talking about some pretty serious issues, but with uh, our two characters, Petita and Atifai, our style is very much, we're trapped in cartoons. We're almost cartoons of ourselves. Nice. So um, our upbringing, our relationship as siblings, as kind of when you get to meet us at, at, at this age, you kind of, you'll see elements of how rough their actual upbringing was versus uh, where they would like their futures to end. Right. Um, it's kind of the first time I've ever actually had to be in something satirical before. So the performance itself is a lot larger, but it is anchored in very much earthly uh, roots with uh, one of the sisters mm. whose character's name is Hinamore. Because you were uh, in the Deadlands, obviously, and we saw you in here recently for Othello. Uh, not comedy roles. No, not at all. <laughs> Even though some of my performances are very comedic. <laughs> um, no, um, this is yeah. This is a this is this is new territory for me. Um, new in the sense new in the sense that I've never been asking. Thank you, Mira, for asking me for being here. <laughs> <laughs> um, but also, it's a great challenge for me because of you know the work that I previously have done versus this, and I get to have bloody good time. Yeah, and that's important. Yeah, yeah. and I, I love a good play that's thought-provoking as well, you know. You go there, you relax, you're engaged, and you, you go home thinking about things, you know, yeah. which is what this clearly is supposed to do. How did you come up with it? It was, you know, in a funny way, this play almost wrote itself. I had, um, I had two years ago, I had the rehearsal room booked, um, a development cast all set in place, and I'd just thrown away like 30 pages of the original script <laughs> because it just wasn't sounding like it sounded in my head. Right. And so uh, with two weeks to go, I just sat down and rewrote, and it just all came out in one, almost fully formed and pitched as it is now. Brilliant. So wow. yeah, it just happened, and and now we've got into this stage where these amazing actors mm -hmm. are taking on and helming this thing. So Nicola, tell me a little bit about your character. Um, so I'm the boss of everyone. Good. As the, as <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Yep. As the eldest um, sibling from the family, I'm uh, playing a woman who's got some kind of magazine empire. Um, quite a narcissist and control freak. And so she comes in with a plan. We can't give away the story. But she kind of works, she bosses her brother around. And Literally. The, the, their work, and their childhood's kind of, played, they're quite immature. They're adults who are really immature and have a lot of unresolved childhood issues, which makes for a lot of comedy. Um, and we're just trying to get the other sibling to come on board with us and to fulfill our evil plan. So did you guys do the Wellington run? No. 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 Okay, so, so when you premiered this in Wellington, yes. what was the feedback like afterwards? Were you, did you, were you proud? Were you happy? Yeah, I was so happy and the feedback was great. People, people laughed, but it was nice to be able to move an audience too. Nice. To kind of lull them into entertainment and then pierce them with a few thoughts. Mm. 
And it was it was cool to have um, audience members who were like, I know these people. That auntie, that auntie lives across the bay from us. <laughs> so it's, yeah, it's a good place to be in and that's why we're, I'm excited to get up here to Auckland. Yeah. And that's the way we do really take things on board too, isn't it, these days, like with comedy. That's how we deal with things, with serious issues. Yeah, because if you look out into the world today, it can be a little bit tragic. So. Yeah, you have to laugh, otherwise yeah. you're going to cry. Yes, for sure. Mm. Nice work. Exciting yeah. times. Well yeah. done, guys. Yeah, thanks so much for joining yeah. us today. Yeah, excellent. Good luck. So the Vultures yeah. continues in Auckland from this Wednesday through to Saturday. You can check out the Q Theatre website for all the details.